Hi, I'm here to talk a little bit about cybersecurity. So as you may know, uh, cybersecurity is an increasing threat in the world and also in the industry. With the new line of Omnicore controllers, ABB is addressing this issue. I will present to you some of the things that you will notice when you uh, run the Omnicore controller. And I will also talk a little bit about things that you might not notice and be aware about. In the end, I hope that you will realize that ABB is taking cybersecurity very seriously. One of the concepts that we're introducing is Secure Boot. Secure Boot means that the robot will only load software that is signed by ABB. This means that even if an attacker is able to put software on a malicious code on your controller, the robot will not boot it, and thus it will never take effect. If the robot boots up nicely, as you can see here, then you'll know that the software comes from ADB and it is legit. Another feature that we're introducing in Omnicore is secure storage. Secure storage means that any credentials or other sensitive information that you enter into the robot controller will never get out of the robot controller. The mass memory of the Omnicore controller is also bolted down and non-removable, which is a change compared with previous generation. Furthermore, we have taken away the USB port of the Omnicore controller, and thus you only have the USB port of the flex pendant. Why is that a security measure? Well, if you have the hot swappable flex pendant option, it means that you can unplug the entire device and take it with you and thus also the USB port, making your installation more secure. The Omnicore controller's network communication is secure on delivery. This means that on the public one port on the Omnicore controller, no network traffic is allowed unless you enable it. I will show you how this is done. On a PC, Launch Robot Studio. Connect the robot over the management port. Open up the configuration settings and the communication tab. Select the firewall manager. Here you can see that most of the network services available on the robot has been disallowed on the public network. To change this, take right access of the robot and now you are allowed to change the service. Please note that if you change the values, the system has to re be, be rebooted. To allow Robot Studio to change these settings of the public network, you first have to enable that. That is done on the Flex Pendant. On the Flex Pendant, click Settings, and then click Network. Click the Public Network and scroll down. Here you can allow connection to controller from RoboStudio on Public Network. Please note, this setting is only enabled in manual mode. Click Apply and then restart the controller. You can also change this setting from Properties in RoboStudio. If you scroll down, you see Configure Firewall, and here you see the same setting. Again, click Allow to allow RoboStudio to communicate over the public network to the controller. I hope that this video has been of value to you. Thank you for your attention.